Well, good morning. Actually, it's late morning now. Say hi, Stan. Hello, good hi, morning. Stan. <laughs> so obviously I found the hotel. We're in it. <laughs> and um, actually the guys texted me as I was walking through town last night that they were heading to the pizza place because it was about to close. So we got pizza. Yum. I was really craving some pizza hard the last That's couple really of good. days. So we got some good pizza and garlic knots and then walked the rest of the way to the hotel yep. and I pretty much died. <laughs> pretty much. <laughs> pretty much. Got a shower and went to sleep. Um, and I don't think I moved all night while I was sleeping. Nope. And Steps is uh, currently at the post office picking up his delivery of his shoes. Been tracking mine. My new ones are supposed to be in tomorrow at the Mohican Outdoor Center, which is where we're going to hike to out of Delaware Water Gap. Yep. Little man is back here curled up asleep on the pillow. Hi, baby. Hi. Hey, I'm talking to you. Wake up. He doesn't care. Nope, he doesn't care. He, he won't say hi to everybody. Nope. Um, so we went to, where'd we go? Apple Pie Bakery. Apple Pie Bakery is thankfully right down the street from our hotel. Yep. And it was amazing. I mean, you have to watch Stan's video because he took a video of the actual bakery. Yeah. We're going to go back, so I'll get, a, I'll get a video of it too. Like everything pastry and like old fashioned country store type of thing like that you can mm -hmm. imagine. And really I got good. this like strawberry fluff stuff. It was good. That was right? amazing with fresh strawberries um, and breakfast sandwiches and coffee. This is my second cup of coffee because Steps got up early and went to Duncan, which is attached to our hotel. So here's my Duncan trash. I'm all coffeeed up. Feet are feeling, yeah. I'm all diet pepsi up. He's diet pepsi up. How, did, how does a New Yorker not drink coffee? Like, Steps and I can't figure this out. How does a New Yorker not drink coffee? I just don't like it. He just doesn't like it. Oh, magical bean juice. It's good. Don't like I'm, it. I'm going to get him started on coffee by the no, end of this trail. No. <laughs> no. All right. Little tootsies are feeling better-ish. I'd like to find some Epsom salt to do a soak today if I can. Uh, probably going to run to Walmart. we got to figure out where we're going from here. Yeah, like we all, all we out. figured out was getting the Delaware Water Gap. <laughs> now we and we have to get to out in Mohican Outdoor Center tomorrow right. because that's where my shoes are going to be. Beyond that, we don't know. So that's part of today's chore: planning, prep, resupply, all that jazz. Never, never just a zero to sit around doing nothing like it looks like we're yeah, doing right now. Uploading a video. Uploading a video and, and doing laundry. And doing laundry. We're getting the laundry around right now. And the Wi-Fi here, just like it has been, like all the way through Pennsylvania is sketchy so don't know how long it's gonna take me to upload this video last time it took me 24 hours so hopefully i'll get a new video out there for y'all by the time you watch this like a month and a half from now we'll be to katahdin <laughs> we'll no, that's really weird we'll probably yeah. be in maine actually probably wow that is so weird all right i'm gonna go bye bye all right here we are grabbing lunch we got dreamer and Chris Crinkle is up paying, I believe. These two have been hiking together. We've been leapfrogging them. Stan is somewhere. He was in the parking lot. Oh, there he is. He got in line. I need to go get in line. But check this out. I'm going to flip this around. We're at a barbecue place. And look at that. We got some sliced brisket. Coleslaw's Coleslaw's awesome. Coleslaw's awesome. That's the first test. That's the first test. It's going to be good here. We've got a Texan here. So he's very particular about his uh, barbecue and the sides. So what is in here? Is that more brisket? Oh my gosh, this is rib. I have oh, a rack of ribs. Oh, look at that. Oh, that looks good. Brisket sandwich and a half a rack of ribs and all the sides. And we were at breakfast together and you had breakfast too. Next door is where we had breakfast. I'm gonna run over there and get a dessert for later. Whatever I get is going to be lunch and dinner. So, hey Chris, there you are. Good, You're, say hi. Hello. <laughs> all right, I need to go figure out what I'm gonna order. So, all right, no. All right, we're sitting with you. And oh my gosh, show you this. Zobie is literally hanging out. Hey, buddy. How's a good boy? How's a good boy? Yeah, mommy's gonna get mommy's gonna get some barbecue for you. Yeah, we'll go get some barbecue. What you got, buddy? Zobie. I am not looking. Oh, you are gonna look at me. Oh, say, Uncle Steps gave me one of his rib bones, mommy. I am in heaven. <laughs> And there's a whole pile of them waiting for you here. Yeah, more ribs. How are the ribs? They are perfect. Perfect. Delicious. What did you get? I got pulled pork. Mm. I got. Oh wait, pulled 
before I got brisket. I'm sorry. Brisket. <laughs> uh, you already ate your brisket. Zilby did get a bite of the brisket. Yeah. It was good. And you killed yours. Awesome. Awesome. Brisket sandwich, ribs, potato salad. Nice. All good. And I got something called Word Do Your Smother which is some baked mac and cheese covered in pulled pork and I don't even know what all in it is delicious. And I got some pulled pork to go for dinner for me and Zobes to share. But then again, he's gonna get a bunch of bones and I don't know if he's even gonna want <laughs> the pulled pork. <laughs> Good stuff. All right, good morning. Good morning. Good morning. Good morning. <laughs> It is Thursday, June 23rd, and we are sitting in the rainy morning at the Apple Pie Bakery, as you can see from the sign. We had breakfast here yesterday. I came back and got dessert again last night. And these guys just ordered, these guys just ordered uh, burgers at, what time is it, like 10? 9? I don't even know what time it is. 9 something. 9 something. Early dinner. Lunch. Early lunch. <laughs> Um, so we don't really know what we're doing today. <laughs> we know we're going to the Mohican Outdoor. We're going to the Mohican Outdoor That's Center. What we're doing. We are definitely going at least 11 miles today to the Mohican Outdoor Center because I have my boots, my new boots, and new uh, PF insoles are being delivered there today. Crossing fingers, it says they're going to be delivered there today. So depending on when those are delivered. We may either hike on a couple more miles in camp or we're going to stay at the Mohican Outdoor Center tonight. Where it's dry. Where it's dry, yeah. yes, because it has been raining since yesterday evening and has not stopped. So everything is wet. The trail's going to be wet. We're wearing our rain gear. Zobie's in his bag. I'm going to be trying to keep him dry because it's kind of chilly. But today we get to cross 1,300 miles. And, New Jersey. and cross the New Jersey border. All right. Woo! Yeah. <laughs> um, so we'll see what happens with the rest of the day. And then we have a friend in New Jersey, Dawn, who is going to be picking us up off trail, depending on when we get to her area. Uh, it could be as early as tomorrow or it may be the next day. So we will figure that out later today as well. All we know is right now we're going to eat, fill our bellies, and get on trail. Yep. In the rain. In the rain. In the rain. Yep. <laughs> Hello, we are making our way back to the trail, walking through Delaware Water Gap. The rain has finally let up, it's just a sprinkle now. We sat there at the Apple Pie Bakery for about 90 minutes while it poured, but that's okay, because if we only do 11 miles to the Mohican Outdoor Center today, that's fine. <laughs> We might just do that, <laughs> but it is supposed to let up and then actually stop here in a couple hours. So heading back to the trail, we're gonna catch it up here just in a little bit. And then we walk over the bridge, over the Delaware River into New Jersey and say farewell to Rocksylvania for good. Bye bye see you there. All right, don't know if you can hear me. And I think my phone is being weird and jumpy with the video. I don't know, I don't know what's up with that. Here we go over the Delaware River. State line awaits. Get me out of Rocksylvania. Get me out of this state. Get me out of this state now. <laughs> Little man. What the heck is going on between the rain and these cars going by? And these cars are like flashing us as they go by. This guy sucks. Alright, I'm gonna go. I'll record when we get to the state line. This is crazy. Alright, we're not to the state line yet, but this is pretty. Crossing the river. Second part of the river. And, oh! Oh, I didn't even realize it. Oh, here it is. Just a few more steps. Ah! Bye, bye, Pennsylvania. Bye, bye, Pennsylvania. Woo, woo! Yay! I am one happy camper. Bye, bye, Pennsylvania. 
Okay, my phone got wet in the rain and it's recording a little funny, but Stan, can you get a little bit closer to the sign? There yeah. you go. So Stan yeah. is telling us the story. We are officially in New Jersey. Yay! And Woo! Mr. New York, this, this right here, this trailhead that we're about to get on was his very first steps on the AT yeah. ever. And his very first multiple day backpacking trip. That's seven years ago. Seven years ago. And that was when he started doing trail magic. <laughs> I hope this video comes out okay. It's all jumpy. I My phone's so. all screwed up. Yep. All right. Yay. Well, Pennsylvania was pretty dry, so I gotta get me some creek here. Man, my, I don't know if it's videoing the way it's looking on my screen right now. I think my phone's messed up. Crap, got it wet. Yep, yep, it's acting funky. It's definitely acting funky. But yeah, anyway. Look, we're walking by a creek. Get to go over a bridge, a footbridge here. Really makes you realize just how dry Pennsylvania was when you finally see creeks again and it's like, oh, I haven't seen a babbling brook in a minute. <laughs> Got our first little waterfall in a minute. Man, my camera is really acting jumpy. I'm gonna need to restart my phone or something. Look at that. Woo and the rain is letting up. So we are they're taking the raincoats off. I'm not yet. But I am gonna put my umbrella away. All right, guess where we are? Where are we, boys? 1,300 miles. 1,300. 1,300 miles Ooh. on this epic adventure with the best guys ever, Aww. including Zobi. There it is. All right, I restarted my phone. It's still being a little jumpy. Hopefully, it starts working better. 1,300! Bam! <sighs> New Jersey and 1,300. I've never been in New Jersey before. You are now. I am now. <laughs> All right, let's get some pictures. Here we are at the Sunfish Pond Natural Area, which Stan has said is really pretty and has some bouldering rocks, right? We have some bouldering rocks. Oh, by the way, about four miles into New Jersey, the rocks return. Just, just saying. Just saying. Sunfish Pond has been designated a registered national landmark. All right. So the rain came back as well as the rocks. I'm not using my umbrella at the moment. Zobi is safe and secure down here. <laughs> all over the place. And here we are, all with our rain gear back on again, hiking away in the rain, getting wet, and let's go see Sunfish Pond. It's only sprinkling right now. I'm hoping that it lets up. The, the weatherman says it was supposed to stop by now. We have sucky weathermen in Appalachia, <laughs> but it is letting up and it seems like the sun's trying to peek through the clouds a little bit here. So hopefully it'll stop here shortly. Pretty. It is pretty. Look at that. Sunfish pond. So we're going to walk all the way around the pond, huh? Do we have more views of it? Like when we walked around Lake Watauga? Uh, that was a really pretty walk. No, we don't get up above it. Oh, okay. That was a really pretty walk. I enjoyed yes, that. that was. Hello. Hi there. How are you doing in the rain? I'm wet. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Unlike your dog. No, my dog is dry. He is nice and dry. He is nice and dry. He's sound asleep in there. He's not even moving. <laughs> okay, so Stan was right. This is pretty. And the rain is letting up. It's a very light sprinkle. So we're going to try to get around to the other side of the pond and take a little break. Hopefully the rain will stop completely. But isn't it pretty? The mountains are reflecting in it, even with the rain. Pretty, pretty. All right, we have 2.8 miles to go to the Mohican Outdoor Center, where my new boots, new insoles, are hopefully awaiting me. I haven't had service to check the tracking. 
and we're gonna get some food because they serve apparently pretty good sandwiches and shakes and stuff there and it has completely stopped raining and look we even have some blue skies I know we got some blue skies I'm pretty excited about some blue skies and thank you once again power lines for giving us a little bit of a view here and as you can see the freaking rocks definitely did not end in Pennsylvania there's actually been a lot of rocks on the trail today more than I expected if I'm being honest because I knew they were not gonna go away but I was hoping they would go away a little bit more than they have but I'm very happy to report that the sun is coming out. So what that means for us is after we get to the Mohegan Outdoor Center and grab something to eat, and hopefully my boots and insoles will be there, we probably are going to go ahead and hike on a couple more miles to this ridge line that Stan really likes, Rattlesnake. Ridge, which I don't like the name of, but he promises me there are not rattlesnakes on it. We'll see. But um, he says there's some good campsites up there and has one of the best sunrise views on the trail. So that was what we were hoping to be able to get to tonight, so long as it wasn't raining and my boots are in when we get there. So we have time to continue hiking and get set up before dark. So we shall see. I'm still going slow over these rocks. My feet are bothering me. They're not painful, but they're not happy. And hopefully new boots will help take care of that problem. <laughs> so see you at Mohican Outdoor Center in a couple of miles, unless there's something really cool I have to show you before then. <laughs> and yes, Zobie is still tucked away, warm and dry. We stopped for a break a little bit ago and um, I pulled him out, let him go potty and get something to eat and drink. And he was perfectly dry and very happy. He's getting nap time while mommy does all the work today. <laughs> all right, see y'all later. So we just got to this view. First really good clear view that we've had for a little while, honestly. Yeah. Yep. And the crazy thing is, this side is completely socked in. Yep. <laughs> Can't and see a darn thing. Views, he says that's where the best views are. That's where the Delaware River is. But this side's pretty darn good. Look, you can yeah. see the like fog line right yeah, there. Right there on the <laughs> it's crazy. But hey, I'm glad we get views off of this side. This is really pretty. I like this. Yep. So if it nice. keeps clearing up, then we should have views tonight on the ridge line if we make it there. That's fun. Awesome. I hope my boots are in. Yep. Maybe I have service up here. I should check getting anywhere because there's views and guess what flowers <laughs> we haven't done a tanya flower video in a minute those are really pretty i don't know what they are but they are really pretty they are really nice look at all of them in through here all the way down a whole area oh and the other thing here's on the other side here's the other reason we keep stopping blueberries yeah baby <laughs> very oh Dang it, slipped Jeez. on the rock again. I just fell, by the way. Oh gosh. No, I'm okay. And blueberries! That's the other reason we keep stopping. Blueberries! Yeah, we're gonna have trouble once the berries are ripe everywhere. I'm never gonna get anywhere. <laughs> All right, well, we're leaving the pretty view on one side <laughs> and the fog on the other side. Uh, I did have a little bit of service up here, so I just tracked my package for the first time since we left the hotel this morning. And it says arriving today between 3.45 and 6.45. And it is currently 3.45. So I'm hoping that the next time I check it, or by the time we get there in a couple miles, they will be there. But we are planning on getting food anyway, so that'll give like probably another you know, hour-ish for them to arrive before we would want to leave to continue on if we go up to the ridge tonight. And it won't be the end of the world if we you know, end up having to stay at the Mohican Outdoor Center tonight. But it'd be nice to get a couple more miles in. She's following me. I keep seeing her. Look how skinny she is. You can see her ribs. Need to eat, baby dear. Keep eating. I don't have Zoe to scare her away. Well, I mean, I have him, but she's, he's not 
loose. I scared her away. We have views. Look at that. Yep. Pretty, pretty, pretty. And the sun's coming out. Kind of. I'm so happy it's clearing up. Yes, me too. All right, we are on the Blue Blaze slash Dirt Road. To what? It just makes you feel better. While I was sitting there, I saw the Amazon Prime truck. No, uh uh. Yes. Well, why is it not updated as being delivered then? All right, I just checked my tracking and it said uh, to be delivered between 345 and 645 still and it's 520 so hopefully hopefully that status will change to delivered if that's the truck that has my boots hopefully that was the truck that has my boots <laughs> All right. that could have been my boots then <laughs> he's still talking about he said it was 10 minutes ago so I guess they wouldn't have updated it that quickly all right Little man's got his head sticking out. Hi, baby. See, I'm all dry. I'm all warm. My mommy's the best. She's carried me for 11 miles today. All right, let's get some boots and some food. There it is. Mohican Outdoor Center. And Step says, that's got to be my shoes on the Amazon truck. Let's go find out. Spin this around. Oh, this is cute. All right, so this might be our home for the night, but if my boots are really here, which they should be, I would think, I can't imagine they have two trucks coming all the way out here, then we can probably continue on to that ridge line so long as it's not supposed to rain. We will find out. Let's go get some food, some boots. Let's do it. Hey, Lucky. They're here. They're here. Yay. Let's go try them on. All right, so a decision has been made. <laughs> we, as you can tell, are hiking out. We have a pack back on. We're leaving the Mohican Outdoor Center and heading about a mile and a half-ish up the ridge to a campsite that Stan knows. Uh, we're not sure if it's the marked campsite on Far Out. Um, or if it's one that's a little bit past that, but he has camped at it before, so hopefully no one else will be camped there. Excuse me. And that's where um, we're going to head. So I have to stop up here um, where the AT uh, has the junction with this road to the Mohican Outdoor Center um, and get water and carry it up the ridge, of course, because that's what we always end up having to do is a water carry. Um, but yeah, I got to get water. The guys left a little bit ago. Um, I was finishing switching over my boots. Oh, I gotta show my boots. To the package, I didn't show you. Look, I have new boots. Woo, aren't they special? And look, my freaking uh, thing, thingy broke on my, uh, whatever these are called, gator. Yes, I have new boots. Shiny new boots. These are not the exact same model or whatever, but they are La Sportiva and they feel really good. So uh, they are, um, a, a wide which is what I got last time um, but in this model the wide must be even wider <laughs> uh, so probably my next ones I'm not gonna need to order the wide just the regular men's shoe but anyway little extra width probably isn't gonna hurt anything I hope um, extra length or not enough length is what causes blisters and the length feels good it's the same as my other boot so yay new boots new uh, plantar fasciitis inserts, uh, the insoles, which is what I was finishing up doing when the guys decided to go ahead and take off and go try to claim that campsite. And yeah, all right, I'm babbling. I'm going to get water because I'm coming up on the intersection. I think it's right here. So I will see y'all later. This is not our campsite, but this is the view that we're going to get from our campsite. So, I have to agree with Stan that this was a better choice than staying at Mohican Outdoor Center. Um, there was one campsite, you might even be able to see, there's a person in a tent down there. Um, Stan said it was, the one he wanted was past the first one that we would see. So I should be getting close and hopefully they were able to snag it. Even getting a little bit of color from the sunset already. It's 
kind of early for that. Come on, baby. There you go. Yeah, look who's hiking. Yeah, look who's hiking again today. Today it's all dried out. Today trail's not bad. Actually, it's been pretty grassy um, and rocky, but uh, not wet. So a little man's hiking and staying pretty dry, actually. Yeah, all right, come on, let's go find Uncle Stan and Uncle Steps. <gasps> They're ahead of us. Let's go get them. Go, go on, let's go get them. Let's go. <laughs> this trail is popping out to some ledges here with this view again. Oh, this reminds me of walking on the ledges in Pennsylvania. Pennsylvania. Oh, not Pennsylvania. Virginia. I liked Virginia. I did not like Pennsylvania. Oh, oh look, we come down here. You can see, spin it around more. You can see the reservoir over there. I shouldn't say I didn't like Pennsylvania. I didn't like Northern Pennsylvania. Southern Pennsylvania was lovely, especially with Stan's family in Southern Pennsylvania. Look at that. We are getting some sunset. It's only 730. The sunset isn't until like 845. Might have some pretty color tonight. I think I'm only about 0.1 from where they are. I think that's where I think they are. Zoe loves looking out at views. You're such a good boy. Yeah. What you seeing down there, huh? Do you see moo cows out there? Do you see them from the distance? Yeah, he's like entranced. I think he sees the cows. All right, buddy, let's go find Uncle Stan and Uncle Steps. We gotta get set up. Let's go. Oh my goodness, he hears them. You, you hear, <laughs> there they are, there they are, oh my goodness, he's so excited, he's so excited, I have loved this view, I have stopped for a million pictures already, oh, this is a great sight, look at this, oh my gosh, oh, so pretty, Definitely a better call than staying at the Mohican Outdoor yeah, Center. The Come on, buddy. Comes, the sun yeah. comes up right there. Oh my gosh. So, Yay! Yeah, yeah, I've been stopping. It was reminding me of the ledges that we were walking yeah. on in Virginia. Yep. So pretty! Yay! Look at that. How do they feel? Nice. Oh, they feel so much better. Good. Oh my gosh. Good. My feet are much, much happier. Good. Yay! All right, I gotta get set up. Look at this. We're starting to get some really pretty colors from sunset. Spreading all the way across the sky, even to the other side. Half tempted to walk 0.3 backwards to the ledges. <laughs> Where you have a more open view. Stan's hiding out in the grasses. Yes, I am. I'm standing next to Surprise, surprise, blueberries and eating them all. <laughs> so pretty. All right. If it gets more colorful, I'll take more pictures. But otherwise, good night, y'all. He's coming. He's going. He's just like moseying up the hill. Oh, hello there. He's like, I love these blueberries. Hey, you humans, you got any bear bags around for me? He's gonna go find your bear bags, Stan. Yeah, it's a good thing I'm, way up. I'm still in my tent because I was still eating. <laughs> he is really not paying any attention to us.
we're starting to watch the sunrise. I'm not even 5 a.m. yet, but I've been up since 4, actually. Had some foot pain waking me up. But, according to steps, I was snoring pretty loudly before that. <laughs> Good morning. Are you live over there, Stan? I am. I see. I see Zoby's racing over to see you guys. Wow. <laughs> hey Zobes, come over on this side. He's got this side open. <laughs> Alright, I'm going back in my tent. I'm going to make some coffee. Well, there's Stan taking pictures of the sunrise. And I'm hanging out right here. Let me zoom out a bit. There we go. I'm just hanging out right here in my tent. Watching the sunrise. And making my coffee. Yeah. And Steps has his over there. Hey, Steps. Well, hey. Hey. <laughs> How's your coffee? It's good. I gotta make mine. I just have my hot water. I gotta make mine now. Oh, and little man has gotten up and gone potty. It's all curled up beside me. Hey, buddy. Good morning. He doesn't have grumpy morning dog syndrome. Oh, well, maybe a little bit. I'm not gonna move you. Don't worry. You're not moving. You can stay curled up there with mommy. Say hi to everybody. Hi. Hello. Yeah, oh, yeah, there's Grumpy Dog. I'm not moving you. You can go back to sleep. Okay, night night. Well, here we are back on trail. Got some morning sunlight on our lovely ridgeline view. We've been walking along here for a little bit. I got back on trail right around 7 this morning, as normal. The guys could have got on trail before me because... They're just always faster than me in everything. They get ready faster. They hike faster. We got on trail at the same time. They're already long gone. Probably won't see them for miles now. It is what it is. I'm just slow and I'm slow over these rocks. But for some reason they want to hike with me. So I'm appreciative. They're good guys. Little man here. It's pulling me up the hill. <laughs> I've been keeping a wary eye out for a bear out for their breakfast of blueberries because the blueberry bushes are covering this ridge. Haven't seen him though. I know there's a fire tower up here. It's where uh, those two girls who are also through hiking were planning to leave our campsite right when the bear came along. They were going to head to the fire tower and camp there. Wondering if the bear followed him. <laughs> so, yeah, kind of been an interesting morning, keeping an eye out for a bear that we know is in the area, and trying to get packed up, I'm back on trail. Hello. So, um, we really didn't have a plan going into New Jersey. <laughs> we haven't resupplied. We haven't mapped things out and far out. We basically were just like. We need to get to the Mohican Outdoor Center to pick up Tiny's boots. And that was, that was all we had planned. Um, but it's also interesting that when you don't have anything planned, the Lord, or as the saying that I've been saying out here goes, the trail and the maker of the trail provides. Um, a woman who has been diligently following me and Stan and has reached out a couple of times saying, hey, when you get to New Jersey, let me know. Um, just hosted friends of ours who are also through hiking. And she reached out to let me know that they hosted them and slack packed them. And looks like we're in Jersey now. And let her know if we need anything. So I reached out yesterday and was like, hey, where exactly are you? Blah, blah, back and forth end of the story is we are hiking 16 and a half miles today to a road crossing where there is a tavern where we are going to get dinner and they're going to come pick us up there at the tavern so we're going to stay in their home tonight they're going to slack pack us tomorrow which will be good to help my feet recover as we continue through New Jersey rocks instead of Pennsylvania rocks 
and I got my new boots, which are helping. And then uh, we'll get back on trail with full packs early Sunday morning. And that also gives us a little bit of time tonight and tomorrow to plan out <laughs> the rest of New Jersey now and properly resupply for it. So that's the new short-term plan. And uh, on top of that, we are running low on some other supplies. So probably need to find a Walmart for things like, um, oh, why, why can't I talk? Uh, Purell, I need a new lighter, um, contact solution, you know, random things like that that we need to get at like a CVS or a Walmart, not a Dollar General. So anyway, okay, I will chat more with you later. Bye-bye. Who's up there? Hey, Who is that? Oh my goodness, oh my goodness, you'll be so excited. We gotta go see. All right, we're gonna check out this tower. And here's the ladies who camped here last night. They were bear free, they say. <laughs> All right, and here we are at the top. We've got Stan the Man up here. <laughs> Steps is already going back down. This is a little harrowing. The higher up yeah, you get, right? the like skinnier the little sections to stand on get. <laughs> Got some views out that way. Zoby's hanging out up here with me. And over here we got some fog and a little bit of views. But we got views on the left. Come out here and get a better one. Here we go. Better not drop my phone hanging yeah, it over right. the edge of the tower. <laughs> There's nothing to stand on on that side to get a better view on that side. Yeah, not really. What do you think, buddy? It's like, I don't like this, mommy. <laughs> Hold me. Hold me. <laughs> Keep him. Yes. Hey, buddy. Come Let's here. Jump off. Look at me. There we go. Yeah, he's going to be a good boy. All right. Yeah, it's kind of a treacherous descent, I think. Hold on to the rail. You're videoing going down? Yeah. You are crazy. Don't, please don't face play it. Oh, yeah. <laughs> All right. Back to the views. We've entered back into a mystical world of sunbeams cutting through the fog and creating all these cool sun rays. Oh, it is catching the water droplets. Can you see that? I don't know if I can. Oh, you stepped on Zobie. Sorry. He, he has a tendency to do that. I don't know if I can catch the water droplets moving in front of us. Oh, that's so cool. I don't know if I'm catching it on film though. Uncle Steps is sorry, buddy. He didn't mean to step on you. Sorry, Zobie. I'm sorry. You're <laughs> See? Get an extra piece of jerky just for that. Oh, look at that. See, Zobie looked at me like, yeah, I'll take it. I get underfoot for that reason. <laughs> so pretty. Pretty. And you can see Steps maybe moving around the trail over there gonna wrap around and get a better view too and there's this mist moving across it kind of gives it an ethereal effect very pretty continuing to make our way around it the trail actually wraps all the way around this little pond here pretty very peaceful I love hearing the sounds of the wildlife here's the trail wrapping around it okay right, I'm gonna take a picture trader dog Zoby. Do you love your mommy anymore? They're all about Uncle Stan. Mm. And Uncle Steps, because Uncle Steps has jerky over here. Zoby. Zoby, look at you're a mess. You're a mess. I'm so glad I gave you a bath yesterday. You're a mess. It's like, I don't care. I'm going to roll around and become more of a mess. <laughs> Goofy boy. a little side trail here to an overlook on a lake. Okay, here we are. Fairview Lake.
my dog's traitordom is complete. Uncle Stan or Uncle Steps. It's always one of them. It's never mommy anymore. <laughs> but can you blame him? I mean, Uncle Steps provides shade with his seat. Pets. Gave him some beef jerky. Yeah, I might choose Steps too. Oops, about to drop my phone. <laughs> Are you feeling rejected? Because I am. I am. <gasps> you have beef jerky? I do have beef jerky. Zoe. Zoe. Mm. Uncle Stan has jerky. jerky. Are you going to leave Steps for Stan? Okay. Oh, he didn't care right now. <sighs> Is he sitting under the chair? He's sitting under the chair in the shade. <laughs> Man, I, like I don't know. Thing. We're we're in the reject pile over here. Yeah, I see that. <laughs> in the meantime, we're sitting here on these rocks Strange. looking at a kind of partial view. Having lunch. I'm eating jerky, too. We're feeling rejected over here. He did eat my Slim Jims. And now he's full. And curling up with steps. <laughs> All right, here is the top of Rattlesnake Mountain. Watch out for rattlesnakes. Thankfully, we did not see any. I am like, what's down by your feet there? Okay, nothing, just a shadow. <laughs> I have not seen a rattlesnake on trail yet, and I honestly don't really care if I finish this through hike not having seen one. You have to see at least. No, I don't want to see one. It's, I'm good with that. We've seen two copperheads. That's my snake, Phil. I'm good. Pretty right. view. All right, we've got about six miles to go to dinner and getting picked up. Let's go, buddy. Hey, we're getting closer. So we took a little snack break a little ways back. Um, we had three and a half miles to go where we took our break and uh, had to just rest my feet a bit. And also um, Steps took a little spill. He's fine, um, but we just needed cleaned up and bandaged a bit, but he's fine. Just a little, little thing. Um, so we are now about two and ah, mosquitoes everywhere, uh, about 2.8 miles from the road crossing where Dawn is going to pick us up at a restaurant that is just down the street from where the AT crosses the road and we are going to get some dinner. I'm excited. Dawn's going to join us for dinner and what I really really want is like a ginormous cold icy glass of lemonade. It's like hot today but we only have 2.8 miles to go. Aww. So we've had dinner. Now mommy's loving on me. I'm a happy boy. All right, so we just had dinner back there at Mountain House Tavern. That was where we walked to from the trail. And here's our trail angel. Done! Hello! Introducing Dawn! Yay! So she picked us up. We had dinner. Zobie's happy. He's got a full belly. That's all that matters, right? And now happy. we're uh, loading our stuff into Dawn's poor car that's going to smell like hiker trash. I'm sorry. <laughs> and we're going to go uh, spend the night with her. She's going to stock back us tomorrow and spend another night with her. And uh, maybe go to church on Sunday. Yeah which we're very excited about. So, alrighty, we're gonna get in the car and get going. Talk to y'all later. Toby. 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 Toby.